Hello there, and as usual, I'm here for my Stain Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at another beautiful vanilla creation from the Steam Workshop. This is another one of Bruce Liddell's absolutely fantastic. This one is extremely vast, and it is called Port Chalvet. Now, the whole idea of this is I think it's a fully functioning floating island with a bridge, tower structures for accommodation, some sort of massive shrine in the middle, and then up on this side we've got some sort of port and solar base where we've got storage for cargo containers and hydrogen tanks. Just look at the detail in some of these areas, especially these solar panels, how they look like they're just sitting on the side here, and everything seems to have access ports and viewing windows. Look at this in here. How cool is this? He's actually built some smaller blocks on the inside to act as a desk, a table. We've got plates on this particular table. Look how cool that is. And if we zoom out a little bit and we'll have a quick look on this side, we'll see that we've got a ship docked on this particular part of the island. And just take note how he's actually sculpted these rocks into the ground. So we've got the sort of snowy, not snowy, grassy part on the top. And the lower areas are surrounded by these really cool ropes that look like these rocks are almost have to be tethered to the earth below or else they'll just float off up into the sky. Now, moving across this, we've got this beautiful little bridge, and these bridges actually loop around the whole of the exterior, so if I just speed up, I do apologize for the lag. It's just the size of this world that really causes some problems. So going across this bridge, and what's great about each one of these bridges, you can look up into the center and see the main spire. As we come into here, we've got a rotating solar panel, like a windmill sort of design. We've got ourselves a little crane, and we've actually got the character. This is where the character started. This is some sort of smaller landing bay. This is a smaller ship with a little bit of a cargo ramp. And Bruce Liddell, his detail is just amazing. He doesn't leave anything to chance. So, for instance, this is one of his smaller ships. He's got a little bit of a bed there. He's got the cockpit in the center. He's got the light. Everything is labeled. And I guess that's some sort of toilet as well. He's got the virtual toilet paper drawn out on that machine as well. So, continuing around... We'll tether ourselves up to the next rock, and this whole area on this side seems to be accommodation. And it reminds me of them really funky sort of 70s and 80s Japanese apartments. So we've got a whole tower block in that area. We've got a smaller tower block in this area. Let's have a quick look at one of these little condos, as you could call them. So in here, we have got ourselves a cryo bay with an oxygen generator. And we've got various different buttons. Let's actually bring the character over here and have a look what these buttons do. So let's access these. Maybe they're just lights and various other functions. So it's going to be a little bit laggy. We've got a connector on and off. A merge block toggle on and off. Oh, God. What have we done? All right. We'll just have to be very careful with pressing. Oh, God. They're like drop pods that drop down to the ground. I think I've broken everything. Oh, God. I should probably should have read the instructions. So each one of these pods actually... Oh, that's really cool. These pods actually disconnect off the side, and that one's going to its death down there. So you could separate these, move these to different locations. This is really quite a modular structure then. These towers could be added more to the top. You've got the connectors in this various area as well, as well as the oxygen farms on the top. Oh, God, there it's just blown up at the bottom. Now, let's move on a little bit further. So next, we've got ourselves a little bit of a walking mech that is created in this area. And over here, we also have, I believe this is a refinery sort of room. We've got the actual refinery. It's just saved the world as well in this location with a little window access port to a med bay on this side. Indeed, so much detail going in this. And then we've got another one of them tower blocks. Just look how sort of demanding they are. They just demand your attention. And now that I know that each one of these pods can actually be taken off, maybe moved to a different accommodation, it's just a great idea. It's like you can take your life, or if this was on a server, you could have your pod and move it to a different town, a different settlement in a different port. Now, moving into the central spire, this thing just looks like it's a spider that's happened to fall upside down. Each one of these is some sort of mech or some sort of thing that's some shrine maybe even to clang the gods of maybe this world or whatever I, I don't know we've got rotors connected up to each one of these points in the center maybe it's some sort of gr giant grabbing arm that can hold a ship in place and in the center is that a merge block even it looks like some sort of cube very very interesting i'd like to know what this actually does how it functions and below we've got an airlock and inside the airlock it looks like we've got a fiery yeah it's some sort definitely some sort of ship sacrifice little sh shrine thing oh my god what the hell is this place now, moving up into this area, this looks like some sort of fighting megadome. Oh, it's a mech arena. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. They've got, like, little sound blocks. Oh, no, they're not sound blocks. These are spotlight blocks up at the top to shine light down. Various seating locations. 
wow this is just an absolutely amazing location it reminds me a little bit of a mad max sort of setting definitely something worth checking out on the workshop let's have a quick look at these drones that are patrolling around so i guess these dispatch any people or ships that are causing trouble in the area but just look how the parts on them actually flex they've got a tail part that flex left to right and they've got each one of these arms that moves it just reminds me of something from terminator when they just use an angle the thrusters to Oh, look at that, the weapons at the front moving back and forward. Wow. Sorry for the lag on this video, but it is an absolutely amazing settlement. I feel like I need to have a quick peek inside some of these blocks just to see if there's anything, you know, hiding inside. Like, he's got anything secret going on. No, nothing in there. Is there anything in the central spine? Uh, it's, it's all, no, nothing in there either. Very interesting. Need a beautiful little settlement. Check it out. There'll be a link to it in the description below. And 